Hi people, it's uh, Gerald here, Wolfgang1, back to do another Transformers review. Uh, at the end of my last review I said I was going to review something new and exciting. Uh, incidentally, for those of you who are enjoying my reduxes, don't worry, more will be along shortly. But I'm going to push on with a figure I've been itching to review since he came through the post. I know if you, a lot of you are quite jealous of the fact that I've got this, so I'd like to introduce, while I'm being very self-satisfied with myself, the Diaclone version of Trax. Now, I'm guessing this is one of the last Wave Diaclones they did uh, before Hasbro took over the license and rebranded them because the box is stamped Takara Company 1980 to 1982. Um, on the back, there are the Diaclone uh, adverts for Jazz, Sideswipe, Mirage, Wheeljack, an early version of Red Alert, Grapple, and Prime. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Now I paid £25 for this, which is ridiculous because before this, the cheapest price Diaclone I saw was a blue trial breaker for about £154. So £25, quid, this is insanely cheap. He's not 100% complete, he's missing one missile and his Diaclone driver, but he is in remarkable, remarkable condition. Um, I picked this up while you guys were at Auto Assembly 2009 getting your hauls, so I picked this up and I was really, really lucky to do so. 25 quid is what it cost me. Absolutely incredible. The box is in really good condition. Uh, there's a one flap missing, but the styrofoam insert's in really good condition. So I think what we should do is take him out of the box and uh, give you a better look at what he looks like. Okay, here he is. Diaclone tracks in red. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, Apart from the colour scheme, I haven't noticed any differences between this and the Hasbro uh, Wave 2 1985 version. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the things he came with. Um, he comes with the rocket booster pack for the um, two missile launchers to attach to. It comes with three of these little missiles. I've only taken two out of the packet for now. He comes with three of those. And he comes with the black beam gun thing which is also done, not in black, it's, I think it's done in a really, really dark blue. Um, the other difference in this, of course, uh, apart from the colour scheme, um, is the fact that I've actually given him an allegiance. He is now, if I turn the car forward, a Decepticon. And this is in honour of Exaggerated Energy, who said that we always need more Decepticons, so this Diaclone is a Decepticon. I've given him a small rub sign on the back, um, sorry, a small emblem sticker on the back, and I've given him a proper Decepticon rub sign on the top. Um, and I've been trying to think of a name for him, so I've decided to call him Dark Spark. Um, I don't know if that's been used or not, but it sound, sounded pretty good. And in my eyes, he is the um, Decepticon uh, experiment in cloning, uh, Shockwave clones tracks. That's his backstory. Exactly like tracks in every way, except that he's a evil bastard. So there we are, Dark Spark. Now, um, what else can I say about this apart from the fact that he is really, really nice? Um, well, there's a different type of plastic for the doors and the roof. Um, that's like a translucent plastic that I think's just been spray painted red. So as a result the red round here, the doors and the roof is going a different colour but the red on the um, hood and the uh, bonnet and the back section here is still a very very vibrant colour. He did originally have um, the flame sticker here with um, CS for Corvette Stingray in um, italics but that was ripped and it was coming off so I've washed it down, I've stripped it off and I think he looks a lot more menacing with just the um, big silver Decepticon sticker on the front. Um, apart from that, as I said, there are no real differences between this and the Hasbro version. Um, he still goes to flying car mode, I'll show you that now. Um, pull the undersides out and pull them out and forwards. Then you pull the wings out to the side. Um, the wings on the Hasbro version are actually white. Um, then you attach all these things. You attach the missile launchers to the backpack. Again, the missile launchers and the missiles on uh, tracks for white as well. Attach the missiles into the slots. Now the firing mechanisms on these still work and they go a really, really long way, so I've got to be careful with this. 
attach the entire unit to the back of the car and then finally put the black beam gun underneath to slot the peg into the post and there you have the Diaclone flying car thing which means interestingly enough that the triple changers technically were around 1980 to 1982 um, he looks really really nice in this mode I think I said no differences between this and the uh, Trax model that we've all come to know and love. I mean, you've still got to sl slot the black beam gun onto the hands, the hands still have the pegs. Um, let's actually take into robot mode, I think, because, again, the only difference is the paint scheme in the face and the head. Um, you pull out the front of the car, and this is something I like. When I put the sticker on it, um, oh, hang on. When I put the sticker on it, I then used a stone knife to cut it straight down the middle so when it transforms it just splits apart and no fuss. Uh, turn the bottom of the car around, actually take the gun off the back, that might be a good idea. Spin the bottom of the car around 180 degrees, pull down the tabs at the bottom to form the feet, the tabs on the arms, pull those out for the hands, attach the gun to one hand. Uh, lift up the wings just a little bit and then finally the money shot snap back the back section of the car and that reveals the head now I always liked all of Trax's modes I love the Corvette Stingray thing I love the robot mode I love the flying car thing um, it works better in red for some reason I would have actually if they were going to recolour him for Hasbro I would have actually liked to have seen a white Corvette or a black Corvette or something like that um, not to say that I don't think the blue is disgusting, I just think in terms of colour schemes Takara had it right with the red one. Now E-Hobby did a reissue of this guy um, in the red colours and that, but the um, E-Hobby version is incredibly, incredibly expensive um, you know, a Diaclo should be ridiculously expensive, I got this for 25 quid, what does that say? Articulation wise, the arms go out to the sides all the way up to the top um, bend at the elbow and you've got 360 in the waist but that's due to transformation so he does turn at the waist but you're going to get nothing else out of him um, the problem is with this of course is I, I'd say pick him up if you can get hold of one pick him up but I got this for 25 quid when the, a guy was just like selling diaclones for 25 quid a pop I was going to get the wheel jack I missed out on that as soon as this one came up I bought it outright so I mean, if you ever find another one floating around on eBay, you're more likely actually to um, find the e-hobby version floating on eBay. So if you can get hold of it, do it. It's quite a quaint little nod to the original here. Um, but this, I think, is absolutely fucking brilliant. This is a piece of Transformers history. And for his age, I mean, he's got a little bit of chrome wear on his uh, wheel there. Um, but the tyres are still intact. There's no cracking there. The paint scheme is still pretty much okay, save for a scratch on the um, top just there. I'm very, very lucky to get hold of this. Um, so that's my review on the uh, Diaclone version of Trax, red version, or as I now like to call him, the Decepticon Dark Spark. Um, this is my review for him. I think he's absolutely fantastic. It's a shame there are not going to be too many of these floating around on eBay because I'd say clamber over yourselves and fight each other off to get one because he's gorgeous. Uh, thank you very much for watching this review. This is Gerard Galvin Barry, also known as Wolf Kang One, saying I will be back uh, in a day or two with another Redux review. Until then, people, take care. Back at the hatchet, just tell me I